out this 2024 Mazda CX-50. Now, this is my aunt's brand new car. We've named it Clifford. And it's going to be replacing that tan minivan. That's a 2006, and it has over 302,000 miles. And after 18 years, she is shedding the minivan mobile with this Clifford. So, getting into it. Here's the fob. Not really a fan of it. I think it's too much real estate space. You could put, like, the remote start, kind of like what Kia does. But let's get in. So I can do. On the inside, it has the Java brown seats. And I really like that. So, setting up the vehicle. Put your foot on the brake. Push the button right there. Okay. So, this car already has... 595 miles and she's and my aunt's uncle got it on March 1st so this has the turbo engine this is the base model for the turbo model and the base trim for the turbo model and with this you get standard heated seats leather seats all-wheel drive 20 inch rims leather up steering wheel you get Apple and Android Auto and yeah <laughs> So everything, there's like a lot of sub menus that you have to like go through and all of that kind of stuff. But really, it's not too bad. Once you get to know it, then it's then it's. Once that's all good, then then you can you can easily source through it. You can either open one, so you don't so you don't have to move your arm while you're driving, or if your spouse's or your partner's arm, you can just. But opening it both up, it's quite it's deep. I mean. It's good. I like I like the size of it. Uh, wireless phone charging is right there. You can just slip your phone right there if your phone is big enough. My phone, I don't know. The cargo space is fantastic. This is this. They go down slowly, but and sometimes one faster than the other. But you get a decent amount of space. My aunt and uncle have already moved a desk. So they've already used it. And they've only had it for 10 days. But crawling in here, you can easily put like an air mattress in here and kind of, and, and also you have a nice skylight view. Okay, here's the rear seats of the Mazda CX-50. Now you get the same, the same kind of leather seats and you get this amazing panoramic sunroof that does kind of cut into the headspace. Which isn't bad, but a lot of hard touch plastic here. But you do get an armrest, which is nice, and some two cup holders. But it's very comfortable. I'm five foot four. This is set to um, a position that's close to mine, so I have plenty of room. Although I just noticed this, there's only one map pocket, and it's on the passenger side. At least you get um, the middle seat. Do not recommend because there's a large hump right here. But you do get USB ports and air vents. On the higher trims, you can get heated seats. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the back seat. Although, one thing I wish they would do be reclining. It is only fixed to one position. That's very frustrating. It's not nothing too bad to complain about. Weird sound, but that's all right. There is two-person memory seating, which normally you would find on the door. But Mazda, it's a little bit has dual dual uh, dual zone automatic climate control, heated front seats. This is where the ventilated seats would go. Where, would go. So I cannot speak anymore. The backup camera. I'm disappointed. Come on, you got this big touch. You got this big screen, and you just you don't use it for the backup. I don't get it. Why? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like these videos. Comment down below if you want to see more car reviews. I'm going to make them anyway. So thank you for watching and have a great day.